everyone. It's Monday the 23rd of May. The time right now is 12.31 p.m. and the temperature is 17 degrees so it's nice and sunny here in Copenhagen. We are on, let me try to pronounce this, Holbers, how do you say it? Gede? Gade? I'd like to say Gade but I think they pronounce it more like a, uh, differently. <laughs> That's it but we are basically making our way towards uh, Nyhamn again. I know I've been around that area a couple of times, it's very central. Uh, but I'll just walk through it and I walk towards uh, the Little Mermaid today and the Castellet uh, fortress. So that's our direction and we'll go by a couple of uh, uh, castles, parks, that sort of thing, hopefully. And just uh, admire the lovely, lovely city landscape here. I think a car just backfired. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are in the middle of the city right now. A lot of people have dressed completely in summer clothes. It's still a little bit chilly, I'd say, um, but it is a sunny day. So when you happen to have a sunny spot, it's very nice to sit outside and just, uh, it does feel like summer. And the lovely thing about these neighborhoods as well is that People are saying hi to each other when they go out. Got these little uh, stores for pretty much everything. You've got cafes and uh, there's a restaurant or a wine bar on the other side. It's a lot of uh, very lovely uh, little places. A lot of them have terraces as well. We're we coming to New Haven as we follow this street. And this one actually takes us uh, through New Ham, which is the sort of restaurant area around the uh, canals there. It has the postcard, perfect uh, colored houses that you might have seen on a couple of videos already if you've, uh, if you've been following me in Copenhagen. If not, then uh, you'll see them in just a moment but I already walked through it a couple of times. So I think what we'll do today is just get the views from the bridge, get a little bit of a view of the restaurant area. It seems fairly busy. There are a lot of tourists around. And the hop on, hop off buses are doing well as well. You see them all around town. So definitely tourists are back in Copenhagen. You hear a lot of different languages around, which is nice. I haven't really uh, experienced that. Um, that feel that people are out there traveling for the longest time. And it is good to see that going back into action. So here we are. The super beautiful boats. And there's a tourist bus right now. I think we, well, it's green now. Let's cross. Let's cross and get the uh, postcard view, shall we? seems fairly busy for lunch. It's, I'm not surprised, it's a nice place to uh, sit for a sunny day. So I'll have a look down the street and then uh, make our way past. I'm not going to walk through today. If you want to see the whole restaurant street and the hustle and bustle there, then uh, I recorded a couple of earlier videos over the weekend that you can have a look at. They will show you uh, the actual places in action. Look at that, how pretty is that? It's just beautiful.
but let's go see something new that I haven't covered yet on these videos. Oh, they've still got a Christmas tree, it seems. Oh well, why not? And uh, we will rejoin the uh, waterfront here in a few moments as we get to the next uh, next crossing, the side street. plants on top of the door. That's a nice idea. I think they have a window there as well. It's a good way to make use of that space. Wow, cool <laughs> the Viking bus here, which I assume is a tourist bus, is having some trouble making its way into New Holland. That doesn't look terribly promising. They are blocking a number of uh, bikes no, and cars. I, don't know. I think that's the whole light cycle there as well. Oh well, they made it. Oh, isn't this pretty? I think. Uh, Well, let's cross while it's green. Always a good plan. And then I think uh, I'll make my way to the right here. Because we're at St. Anne's place. Oh, and it's turned red while I'm crossing. <laughs> Oh, is this, this is the finish embassy. I didn't know they're here, but there they are. So I don't know. The lifts certainly look very grand, and it is very windy. Um, I wonder if you can hear that. I'll try to uh, cover it a little bit. Hopefully not causing other other audio problems, but uh, yeah, definitely there is quite a lot of wind. We'll see how that goes. So this is the hotel. Looks like a fairly nice one. This is already past where I've been and there's this one. Just one, I think. Some kind of a boat or so, so leaving from here. Hey, Captain, it says. I think on the other side we see the uh, Oprah building. Apologize for any uh, anything that the uh, microphone might have picked up as I was adjusting it.
it's a really nice day to be here. The waterfront, the sun is shining. I think we're next to a very beautiful garden. I wonder if we can have a peek in. I could have stayed down there and gone the gardens from there. Well, we get a view. I think on my left it will be uh, the Queen's Winter Residence. Millionborg. I'd like to say that, but again, my uh, pronunciation will be whatever it is. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised to see these gates and the artwork around here. It's very, uh, well, it's not fitting of the garden in a way. It's all very uh, metal based and uh, rough in a way. Maybe that's to do with the, uh, with the closeness of the sea. I don't really know what it signifies. That's a lovely view, isn't it? So this is certainly very, very grand and up behind there, I think the church kind of uh, makes it pretty perfect as well here. So we've got these uh, grand buildings, which must, must be a part of the palace because you have a guard there as well. And there's a vine surrounding the whole square here. So really beautiful views here. I think uh, if we continued on to the left here on that street, we'd see some more embassies there. But um, I want to stick to the uh, waterfront for now.
it is the perfect photo opportunity, so not surprising people are making use of it. And the wind is really picking up again. Hopefully that's not too bad on the microphone. Apologies if it is. So I think we can make our way back through here next to the fountain. making use of the gardens as well, reading, just uh, taking a break. Oh, we've got another really nice view from here with the water, the fountain as well. One of the uh, canal tour boats is coming in. So the garden has almost more flowers on, on this side than inside the garden. Which is nice, it's nice to walk at the waterfront and uh, be able to see them. streets there are really really beautiful as well and if you've ever been to Copenhagen maybe you visited the little mermaid statue that I'm heading towards it's a little bit further away from the city center not too far but it is very very small so um, You do have to know to find it and then spot it as well. It's not super obvious. The tour is all. There's the art museum coming up on my left now.
I guess the uh, waterfront promenade keeps going, even though there's a construction site with no access up ahead as well. I wonder what these buildings are. Right next to the waterfront. Maybe just offices, at least at the back. The older buildings seem like offices. At least they have big windows. <laughs> and there's a submarine on the other side. There is also a pier here, so you can take one of these uh, ferries and uh, get here that way. Which must be quite nice on a day like this. That's what the people there are doing. That's some kind of a alarm going off at the. Uh, Maybe a car alarm actually. Could be a car alarm car alarm. And it stopped. <laughs> Maybe it's just one of the cars around here. I think we're getting closer to uh, a little bit more. A little bit more interesting sites than an office building, for sure. Ah, oh, it's just gone off again, right next to my ear as well. <laughs> Apologies. Not much I can do about that one. That's the view back towards the opera from the, the city centre. It really is a very windy day. You can see from the flags if you cannot hear it, although I do, do fear you probably can. I think getting into the uh, Castellet area, which is the fortress around here. My aim is not to actually uh, end up where I cannot go around it. <laughs> so let's see how this works out. <laughs> I think I'll try to uh, I'll try to make my way to the little mermaid 
around. Rather than go in yet. Because if I understand correctly, there's only one way out. So if I end up there, then we're not going to see the statue. At least not on this video. I'll see it eventually. I'm sure I'll make my way. I'm not far. It's a really nice uh, terrace here. Let's see if I can go and follow the waterfront here or I need to find another route. These places look really nice as well, but I don't think they're open at the moment. Gourmet supermarket. Wine, food and delicatessen. Yes, there is a up here so I might be heading the right way and they hope to see me on the way back so that probably means we will end at the when we will end the video at the little mermaid and I will make my way back the same way that's how it seems anyway so where on earth am I going from here there is a gate there. Maybe there will be more instructions as well. The sign is just for the uh, toilets, restrooms. But there is a sign. You could go for the Nordic seaplanes up ahead. With a little mermaid here on the left. That's very kind of them to point the way. What a beautiful park. So pretty and green. Is this a maze? I think there might be a maze. <laughs> It's just a little park with a playground. There she is. Oh, and there's the plane that we could take if we took the other way. Although I imagine it's uh, going to cost some money <laughs> to take a plane. I don't know if you can see her already, but she's on top of the rock there with people sort of uh, going in for photos. So we're not far. A lot of people around though. You can see the sunny weather and the uh, ability to travel again is probably drawing the crowds in again. And it's not surprising, it's really nice in this weather to walk around here. And of course the uh, hop on hop off buses take you directly here so not everyone is walking <laughs> it's not the easiest of climbs to get next to her like this lady who's now there. I don't know if you can see yet. You have to be careful not to uh, fall into the water.
And just before we go in there, the other side, I think this is the fortress island with the windmills and everything. On the other side, it's very pretty. She is the little mermaid. And the wind is really picking up now. Oh, we have a professional camera here as well. Then Lille Hop, the little mermaid. I think I might be on their <laughs> program, whatever they are filming. But I do want to get the nice view of her. Yeah, you do have to uh, work to get the perfect picture with the little mermaid. I think she was stolen at some point as well. But there she is now. <laughs> Popular for photos. the dogs are visiting <laughs> so there we go oh, lovely tree look at that this park just has the loveliest uh, flowers as well how beautiful and the tourists are going by on the other side oh that's a pretty cool way to get your picture from the other side although you'll get all the pic uh, people as well who are waiting so i hope you enjoyed that walk from just next to uh, Niham um, and through the um, Amelienborg, and that's a very bad pronunciation, I apologize. <laughs> Amelienborg uh, castle area and garden. Following the waterfront all the way to the Little Mermaid. If you'd like to see more videos from Copenhagen, there are a few probably on the channel by the time this is published. And uh, probably a couple of more to come. And then the rest will be uh, from in the near future, I think it will be from Finland um, and Singapore because I'm going back in, in early June and uh, covering a lot of ground in Singapore at that point because I haven't been back and I'm so itching to get back on the streets <laughs> and uh, cover Singapore. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to see more of that, then you can subscribe to the channel like you can subscribe to any YouTube channel and that's much appreciated. Thank you so much, guys, for being along with me. I hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you so much for joining today. And with the lovely, lovely views over the water, I hope I'll uh, see you again soon.